And as she just said, it was a beautiful day to get outside. And in some areas, those fall colors really are starting to shine. Chopper 5 got a look at the changing leaves from the sky. But you may have noticed things have seemed a bit more muted than this time last year. A little bit dull, Kevin. Mm -hmm. We sent meteorologist Chris Reese to find out why. And Chris joins us live from Apple Valley tonight with some answers. Hi, Chris. Hey, Kevin and Lindsay, get this, where I'm standing right now, it's one of the most colorful spots that I can find in the metro. Now, full transparency, this one's easy for me to find. It's the entrance to my own neighborhood. But I was here at the same time last year to take pictures, and the colors were much more vibrant. It seems many of us have noticed a slower turn to the leaves this year. October. It's typically a month full of colorful leaves and chilly days. There's still a little bit of red and orange here and there, but you can definitely see a lot more green um, than we have in the past. But this year... It's still a lot of green, but it's like the trees are starting to drop their leaves. The colorful canvas of the tree canopy has yet to show up across the metro and southeastern Minnesota. Less color. I think it's part of the drought that we're in and the trees are stressed. He's on to something. The timing and brilliance of the changing leaves depends on the weather. Fall color change is behind average, and the reason for that is because of the warmer than average temperatures that we've experienced in September and the early part of October. Remember that bout of 90s? It led to the warmest recorded start to October in Minnesota and canceled the Twin Cities Marathon. It's also the main culprit behind the green leaves across the metro. If we are warmer than average, fall colors are going to be slightly delayed. While warm temperatures have had the largest impact on our slow autumn changeover, this summer's drought has also played a smaller role. In general, droughts slightly delay fall colors, so that also might be playing into our later than average fall color timing a little bit. Last week's frost finally set things in motion in the Twin Cities. Reds are finally starting to show up in the maples, and more color should show in the near future. I anticipate over the next few weeks, the oaks will follow suit, and they will, they will turn their, their fall colors too. In the meantime, have a bit of patience and enjoy the color we do have as Mother Nature runs its course. I do miss, uh, miss the colors, but, you know, there's a little bit here and there, so... Now, what's worked to really help those fall colors pop, we've had some sunshine lately, and the more sunshine we get, the more that's going to help. What would harm things, though, is if we end up with another heavy rain and windstorm. It would bring down a lot of those leaves early. Live in Apple Valley, Chris Reese, 5 Eyewitness News.